Hi, I'm Katie Campbell and in this video we're going to go through the McMurray's test. This is a test for the knee joint and it identifies any lesion or tear in the meniscus. So we start the client in supine and then we bring the knee over the hip, bending the knee to around about 90 degrees, using one hand to support the foot, the other hand just on the base of the femur. And we need to push one hand, so using the hand at the foot, into the other hand. This creates compression from the tibial plateau up into the femur there. So once we've pressed in and we've created that tension, we're then going to internally rotate the tibia and then externally rotate the tibia. And what we're after, it was well, a positive test, if there's any pain, this could indicate that there is a tear or a lesion within the meniscus. So if there's any laxity or if the client has ankle injury, or they've told you of any symptoms within it, an alternative hand position could be that you hold the shin and then you try and create some pressure through there. It may not work as well, so it may be that you would do a different test. So to recap, you have your client in supine for the McMurray's test. The knee is going to be at 90 and you need to create pressure pushing the tibia into the femur and then create that twist motion. It's a positive test if the client's feeling pain in the knee joint or it replicates their symptoms. This would show that there's a lesion or maybe a tear within the meniscus within the knee, within the knee joint.